this happened when I was 16 years old. I recently just got hired for my first job, working at a grocery store near my house. From the minute I walked into the store, something felt off. At the time, I didn't really know what that feeling was. That first day, I was able to sit around and watch one of my coworkers explain everything that I am responsible to do in a day of work. So later that day, when my shift ended, I left the store and started walking home. As I was walking home, I thought I heard the sound of walking footsteps behind me. I decided to turn around, expecting some random person to be walking behind me, but there was nothing. After that, I continued walking to my house. The next day, I went to work for my second shift. This time, my training session was over, and I was starting to complete all of my tasks on my own. During my daily shifts, I have to go in the back room to fill up the cooler. This is the old fridge area, where all of the frozen items are kept. For some reason, as I was filling up one of the sections, I just got the random feeling to look behind me. Good thing I did, because I saw a man standing in the doorway to the back cooler. He was just staring at me. His wide expression and grin sent shivers down my back. Can I help you? I asked. There was no response. Then suddenly, the man just turned around and closed the door, leaving the back. This startled me, because no one is allowed in the back cooler area. After my shift ended, I started walking home, once again. This time, I remembered about my experience from last night and decided to be extra careful about my surroundings. Surprisingly, when I turned around, I saw the same man from the store earlier, peeking around the corner from one of the buildings. I knew he must have been following me. I didn't know if I should confront him or not. At the time, I was a little scared and decided to just run home. I also didn't tell my parents about the experience in the store and about the same guy following me from work. As I was laying down in my bed that same night, I started to really think about that first day I entered the store. As I was getting trained by my coworker, I remember the same guy in the store just staring at me. As I am starting to put the pieces together, that guy was targeting me from the first day and I have no idea why. That same night, I decided to call my boss and quit my job. This is where things get crazy. The next day, I was walking with my friend by the same grocery store, and I could see a bunch of police cars parked outside the store. Just then, a police officer walked out of the store, holding the same man in handcuffs. I later found out that someone was killed in that store. To this day, I wonder what would have happened if I did not quit my job that day. It was a normal Friday night. I was outside at my cousin's house and we were playing soccer. My cousin and I always liked to 1v1 in soccer in order for both of us to improve and get better. Around 20 minutes later, we finished our soccer game and we decided to head down to the basement. The weather drastically changed, so it was starting to get cold outside. We decided to play a game of table tennis and then chill and watch a movie. After the game of table tennis finished, we put on a scary movie on Netflix. During the movie, both me and my cousin heard a loud knocking sound coming from one of the basement windows. This scared both of us a lot because we were in the middle of watching a scary movie. We paused the movie and looked outside the window to see what possibly could have made that sound. We could not see anything. I decided that we should continue watching the scary movie and forget about the sound. After a little while, we heard one of the scariest things in my life. It was the laughter of an old woman coming from the basement stairs. I jumped in fear, and both my cousin and I ran to the stairs to see what that was. To our surprise, we could not see anyone. This time, my cousin told me that nobody was home and that we should go outside and check if anybody's trying to break into our house. So we did. We opened the basement door into the cold night and walked around. Since everything seemed normal, we walked to the front of the house to check. Everything was normal. We decided to go back to the basement, but on the way, I saw that my bike flashlight was turned on. I know for a fact that I turned that light off when I arrived at my cousin's house, 
so this terrified me. Then we went back in the basement. We locked the door and waited till my cousin's parents came back home. We told them the story and everything that happened. To this day, I am not sure what was going on that night, but up until now, nothing like that has ever happened again. <laughs>